Belgium explained. How many languages do we speak in Belgium? Do we only speak French in Brussels? How many governments do we have? And what do all these governments do? Don't despair. I'll tell you right now. Belgium is located in Western Europe. It's the 34th biggest country in Europe and the 140th biggest country in the world. In other words, it's rather small. Yet small doesn't mean simple. Belgium is a kingdom with King Philip as a head of state. His role, however, is mostly symbolical and the power of decision in Belgium is mostly divided over three groups of authorities. The federal level, the communities and the regions. The entirety of Belgium is a federal state. The federal level consists of a federal government and a federal parliament. The federal parliament consists of a chamber of representatives and a senate. The federal government and the federal parliament together have jurisdiction over foreign affairs, defense, justice, finances, social security, a large portion of the healthcare system and internal affairs. Within the federal state we have communities and regions. Communities are language based. Belgium has three official languages, Dutch, French and German, and so there are three communities. These communities have jurisdiction over things like language, cultural, education and more. The Flemish community has jurisdiction over things in the Flemish provinces of Belgium and also has a thing or two to say in our bilingual capital of Brussels. The French community has jurisdiction over things in the Walloon provinces of Belgium, except for those places where the official language is German, and also over some things in Brussels. The German community has jurisdiction over things in the towns of the province of Liège that together form the German language area of Belgium. As we saw, there are also three regions, the Flemish region, the Brussels capital region, and the Walloon region. The regions decide on matters like economy, employment, housing, public works, energy, transportation, environment, and spatial planning. They also have a few things to say concerning international affairs. The borders of the region are determined by territory. The border of the Flemish region is the same as that of the Dutch-speaking language area. The borders of the Walloon region comprise both the French and the German language area, and the Brussels capital region is limited to the bilingual area of Brussels capital. So, basically, the Flemish region and the Flemish community cover the same area, except that the Flemish community also has something to say in Brussels and the Flemish region doesn't. The French community covers almost the same region as the Walloon region, except that the community has something to say in Brussels, which the region hasn't, and that the region also includes the German-speaking community, which the French community obviously doesn't. Now let's talk about the governments. We already saw that Belgium has a federal government and a federal parliament. The government and parliament of the Flemish community and the Flemish region were merged in the past, and so now there's only one parliament and one government for both the region and the community. The French community, however, still has its own parliament and its own government, and so does the German community. The Walloon region also has its own parliament and its own government. Oh, and the Brussels capital region also has a government and a parliament. Are you confused yet? Just remember this. Belgium is a federal state with about 11 million citizens, three official languages, six governments and six parliaments. That's right, six governments and six parliaments. Well, thank you for watching. For more fun information on things to do in Belgium, visit wonderfulwanderings.com slash Belgium.